So check this out. You type Zion in. And I want people to understand <clears throat> how precious Zion is to God. You see here, there's a stronghold of Zion, the city of David, Solomon. Watch this. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion. Okay. God always has a remnant of people, and it comes from the body of worshipers. David built something so incredible that David put him in charge in the next millennium. So if you study the word of God, you will understand that David would actually be guiding the troops in the next millennium. So the church is all busy trying to get, you know, the raptured up and stuff. And they're, they haven't prepared themselves mentally for Zion. I tell people, man, if you want to go to heaven, just die right now. But we're going to there for a temporary moment and we're going to come back to reestablish the kingdom of the Lord. It's going to be there on the city of David, Mount Zion. And this is the most precious thing to God. Watch this, guys. Why? Because it's a worshiping place. It's where God, have, he sits and, and is enthroned in the habitations of his people. So, you know, anything about Zion, study that. And so what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm taking a whole different shift to my ministry. And I'm teaching the body of Christ about worship. Because... What we see in the church today is not worship. It's just a role. It's a production and everything is just, it is what it is. And you're saying, oh, for now you're being too religious. No, I'm not being religious. You hold yourself to a different standard. And just because the world's going a different way doesn't mean that's where God's, the standard is in the word of God. This is not old school, guys. This is for real. And those who fill their lives with the word of God will be used. So in 2024, I believe that God's going to raise a generation, a nameless, faceless generation for such a time as this. The Lord was telling me the other day, he goes, Fernando, I reserved you so that you can help and anchor the last generation before my coming. God has also set aside his remnant. If we come from this spiritually. We're coming from Zion. The Lord says in John 3, now we're the children of God. The Lord says, I did not deliver you into Mount Moriah. Mount Moriah is where the judgment and, and Moses and the whole judgment came on the people of Israel. I, the Lord says, I did not deliver you to Mount Moriah, but I'm delivering you into Mount Zion. Guys, elevate your understanding of the, in the scriptures, guys. The spirit of the Lord is talking to you is that God is not delivering us to judgment. He's taking us to a place where we can reign with him. Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. We're not going to get a mansion in heaven, guys. Jesus says, if it was not so, I was not told you. If you think about mansions, all the rooms that the father has, if you think of them from a Middle Eastern perspective, you, you're, you're seeing a whole different language. That's why we can't understand the Bible because the Bible is not from a Western perspective. It's an Eastern perspective of lifestyle. You understand that. And so when you see the, the, the elements of principles in Scripture, you use them. And so why, is, why Zion? Zion, Sion, S, and New, New Testament is also sound. Uh, this is the city of the living God. See, many other cities have dead gods, but this is the only city that actually has a living God. Did y'all understand that? This is the only city that has a living God. There is no other God that lives but God himself. Jesus, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, us reigning with him. We're co-heirs. Guys, one of the things that we got cheated out with church, man, growing up, is just the level, just the low level of the word of God, man. I grew up with some major prophets. Guys, if you're asking me, man, how was I raised, man? I, my dad is full of the word of God. I was raised with some really powerful men of God. And I'm one of those guys that I'm just a nerd, man. I just follow this stuff. But this is the most important thing to God. It's the city of the living God. Things, God says, I'm not dwelling in the temples like what y'all think is. I'm dwelling in the temples. You got to the temple of the Holy Spirit. So God right now, this 2024, guys. God's about to break it up. All the old traditions and the old school ways and stuff. Man, God ain't there, man. God is dwelling in you. Everybody say in you. God is in you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Be, be Christ. But I mean, here's another thing too, guys. Go to places where they literally honor the presence of God. It's not a preliminary thing. Run to churches. Run to places. Run to communities. Run to leaders. Run to the prophetic. Here's another thing too, guys. People rejected the prophetic in the church. Because the prophetic doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> the prophetic is like the river, man. It just follows the 
follows the, the rivers and just goes wherever it goes. Second Peter chapter three says that you be established in the present truth, not the truth of 30 years ago, not the, the truth of yesterday. This present truth, God is speaking to the church new every day. If you're in the military, you understand you're getting assignments, you're getting codes, you're getting the mysteries. If you think about the word mystery, it comes from mission. It's, it's, it's the mission, it's the mysteries of God. If God, the, All the mysteries of God, all the plan of God was in Christ. Imagine if the, the, the mysteries of God is something that is not given to anybody. It's those who want it. Salvation is a gift, man, it's for free. You accept Jesus, but the rest, you got to work. And I see a lot of my friends who don't work in this. And if you have seen myself, retract myself from a lot of relationships and friendships is because the one thing that I admire and adore is this. And if your language is not this, and I don't got time to be talking to you. Because the only thing that we should be filled right now is the, is, is, is the life of the kingdom, a verbiage of the kingdom. The kingdom is a language. So anyways, I say all this to say, guys, I know I went kind of deep on you, but I'm not I'm charging you guys to get planted in the root of the word of God, because the word is not scripture. It's not the Bible It's literally the word is Jesus. The word of the Lord will get in you. Now, all of a sudden you will be you'll be speaking. He will be speaking in your mouth. And we have a lot of worship leaders speaking from them from themselves. We have a lot of pastors and preachers preaching from themselves, but they're the, the Lord's not with them. The frequencies of the words. I'm telling you something. When you hear a man of God speak, when you hear a prophet, your hairs will go up. Ain't nobody talking in the room. I'm not sure. Everybody. Let me tell you something. In a generation that everything's about lights and cameras. Trust me, guys. I'm not trying to be all religious against that stuff. But I'm going to tell you something. I've got a revelation of worship this year, God, on the understanding where we're going, guys. Let me tell you something. God is about to break it open. And... God's about to break every single thing that we have made as a crutch. And God's going to, the river of the living God is going to start flowing out of you. And you're going to be like so writing. You're going to be uh, singing new stuff. That's what we need. We need a new song. A new song is not necessarily a song, like a new song, like what we sing at church. A new song. You got to be the new song. You got to be the new song. The Lord, what does he hear? Does he hear rebellion from you or does he hear obedience from you? Because Prophet Samuel co confronted Saul and, and he said, hey, did you kill everything? Did you kill everything up for the Malachites? Did you just, no, man, we, man, the little plunger out gave it to some of the guys, you know. And I said, man, listen, this, what is the sound of sheep? What is the sound of sheep is the sound of rebellion. God, he can hear the sound of every generation. And there's a sound of obedience. And not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord, we did this. Because our devil's in your name. We, we led conferences. This is what I want. I'm, I'm trying to charge the church because I don't want you to miss out on the most important thing. Not only your salvation. Not only get your heart ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. I need you to start dressing yourself with different types of robes. The robes of praises of worship and, and new songs. And, 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 and clothe yourself with new understanding of him. Because according to the level of understanding, I'm telling you, we're going to get we're going to get paid. God's going to pay us for our deeds. Trust me. But in the next millennium, you're going to be find out who's who. In 2024, you're going to find out who's who. Because the time of the false prophets and the false messiahs is coming in. The Lord says 2023 was a bunch of full, full of false things everywhere on TikTok. False things, false things. I'm just looking at this world, just dying. I'm like, man, I can't wait, God. I can't wait till this thing crumble and it's crumbling down. Every institution that man has built, everything that people have put their faith and trust on is falling to the ground. And this is the greatest time to be alive. Instead of us walking in fear, we walk in the spirit of the power of the Holy Ghost with love and a sound mind, a mind that is with him. People thought it was crazy. No, y'all crazy because y'all can't see. The veil has been torn from people's eyes and y'all still blind. And when I'm talking about the world, guys, there ain't nothing in the world out there. It's done. It's done. The world's done. The world's done. Now a new kingdom is rising. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is being established on earth again. For the next thousand years. Read your Bible, guys. I don't want to go into eschatology because I, I will. Some of you guys, I'll lose you guys. But I want to charge you guys to get on fire for God because it's for real. I love you guys.